my name is Rolf Fayville. My mission was to serve my country. That's what it was. I joined the SS Scottish to start with. And I ended up with the RCRs because we were going to Italy. I was up on the mountain. We used to go up uh, a week at a time. We go on the mountain for a week and then we down in the hotel for a week. And back and forth, we took up and then when uh, we were doing that, we hauled rations up to the top to the guys up above. And, uh, and they, they got their rations and we come on back down again. And we had a patrol of the town at night time. And uh, the guy had a light on one left out. Tell him to put the light out, and he didn't put it out. They go out and run for it. So uh, outside of that, uh, I was <laughs> I was up this place like a, a loft inside of the building. <coughs> and I could hear, I could hear uh, Germans. At least I thought they were German. So we went up there and rushed a whole bunch of them. There was, I think there was something of them. We took them back to headquarters, took their guns away from them, marched them down to headquarters, come to find out they were free Frenchmen. <laughs> they were free. <laughs> I didn't know that. They sent a turkey up to us on top of the mountain. Did you ever try to turn yeah. took a turkey on the, on the cook fire? No. Uh, it turned out just a block of light to the table and it was so raw on the inside you couldn't eat uh, the apple. For my ninetieth birthday, oh, and not to curse uh, anyway, but by Niagara Falls anyway. Well, and I jumped out of the plane and I had a guy tied to my back. So when I landed. But then when I landed, I landed water up to my knees. We had a big rainstorm the night before, and I, I didn't know. When I jumped out, <laughs> I dumped my knees in water. But it helped to land uh, down a little easier. I want to go by myself, but they won't let me. You well, know, I hope not. <laughs> Insurance won't let me. Insurance is too high. I break my neck, but that's my own damn fault most or means the most That's to you. Idea. That's the, uh, made me a, a sir. He was knighted for the French Legion of Honor. They adopted Rome. me as a Sir Ralph. Sir Ralph? <laughs> That's Sir Ralph now. They made me a knight. <laughs> I was in Italy about uh, four or five years ago. We went back, we went to go back to the old army uh, airfields and stuff like that. And uh, we took a trip back. But this one old lady, she must have been 90 years old, and she remembered me from the time I was there. And she came out and gave me a big hug and kiss. She had no teeth left. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, that was a, I was one of the nicest it's, things it's that in happened. It's in the book. Well, uh, I can say, oh, thank you for your time or something like that. That would mean the most to you is just a thank you, like a good thank you. Yeah. Perfect. And outside of that, uh, there's not nothing you could do. Uh, I don't wear these every day. <laughs> I just wear <laughs> on special occasions. And this is one of the occasions. Uh, but even our, our legions are going to hell. Uh, we don't have a place to, uh, we, I belong to one four three in winter, and they they look after me pretty well. But I was with four five nine four before that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, not much I can say. I appreciate coming up here, and uh, I love to go and see my caretaker after. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good looking girl. <laughs> And, uh, He's not dead yet, then. <laughs> <laughs> He's my brain doctor, actually. I was in France in April, 
And they still sing stories about the guy that they knighted to capture three Frenchmen. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> you know, you have an age today. 